buffs, the buffs, the buffs, the buffs, the buffs. I'm too persistent with incoming, no cast. Get it on my own, no collab. Yeah, this is getting out of hand, man. Apparently, there's another beef on the block, bro. I can't even lie. Now, this is literally like the rap civil wars, but not even because it's, oh, this side versus this side or whatever, bro. This is just man them saying, yo, I got a problem with that guy. I got a problem with that guy. I've never had a problem with you, but I never liked the way you looked anyway. And so I'm just going to come out like, bro, it's getting crazy. Everyone's just having the individual battles and that, bro. I literally said, this is literally like a whole chess game, the rap game right now. You have the main chess game. You zoom in, there's another chess game going on. You zoom in, there's another chess game. You zoom in, there's another chess game. You zoom in, there's another chess game. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. And really, Realistically, if you guys think of, I can't remember, if you think of the US YouTube this era and the UK YouTube this era, I don't know if they coincided in the same time and that, but it was just a time where everyone was just releasing diss tracks. This is basically the same thing, bro. Even in grime and that, bro, I'm going to go in that and that, bro. And I ain't, so let's get into it, blood. Quavo. Wait a minute. Isn't this the wrong one, bro? This is this is in the wrong order and that, bro. By the way, I don't know why my man is actually deriding right now and that, bro. You know what I'm saying? This is Quavo's this and man's put the artwork right there, bro. Chris Brown, Quavo, this. Apologies, people. I thought I had the right one. Alright. Actually, voila. This one with lyrics. Now we can settle this like you got some class, so we can get into some gangster shit. Hey, Chris. I don't want no issues, bro. I don't want no smoke. I don't want fights. I don't want to do nothing, bro. Like, please, bro. Please, bro. Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants smoke with C? Why did you start the song saying who wants smoke with me when you knew exactly who you were taking shots at and who you were directing the smoke to and that, bro? You know what I mean? Who wants smoke with me? Who wants. Okay, let's get down to the facts, pussy. I'm dripped in red. Don't let this RB shit fool you, niggas. Get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga. You a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's up? Bad thing. And the craziest thing, I don't really know, because with these guys, their beef hasn't really been in the forefront of the scene in terms of within music. It's kind of been behind the scenes. Apparently, Sway, he was kind of getting passed around like a tennis ball and that, bro. You know what I'm saying? It was all crazy and that, bro, from court to court and them thing there with, you get me? It was all going mad and that. That's the only pretty much situation. I know everything else. I knew these guys had some static and there was some static there, but I never really knew to which nth degree and that, bro. You know what I'm saying? But now we're about to find out because apparently Chris Brown was on his bullshit. You know what Ripped in red. Don't let this RB shit fool you niggas get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug, nigga. You a bitch with dread. Can't wait to see the day that you back up all of that shit you said. What's all that ball shit you talking? You ain't no huncho, nigga. You the weakest link out of your click. Let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty and that, bro. Because ever since Migos have been about, I don't think I've ever heard anyone say. Hey, yo, Quavo's my favorite, but I can't lie. I'm offset. I'm offset all day in that, bro. But normally it's offset and you're not saying with the racket, man, bro. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. to take and that, bro. You know what I mean? But normally it's either take or offset. I'm an offset guy. So he's one of the man them and that, bro. You get me? I've always rocked with his swagger, bro. The way he presents himself on a track, the energy and them thing there, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just him as a person, like, you get me? But more times, I think more people kind of go over to takeoff side still when they're trying to choose who's the best out of the three and that. And like I say, I don't really like to make the comparisons, but this is music and that. But this is literally what we do and that. And that's what these men are doing right now. Literally rapping at each other to see who's the best type of thing and that. While also, you get me, trying to sort out certain issues or address certain things. Got it, yo, quick, let's keep it a hundo, nigga. You fuck my ex, ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Cause I fucked your ex when you were still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. <clears throat> now, not to say Chris Brown ain't the best rapper and that, bro. You're not saying, but he ain't got this issue in coded bars and underhanded comments and puts it in a double, triple, quadruple on Tonja and wraps it in just lyricism and that he just tells you straight, hey, but you you know what I'm saying, blood? That's a headshot right there. Still, I can't lie. Is it gonna kill him, though? I don't know. You fuck my ex, ho, that's cool. I don't give no fuck, little nigga. Because I fucked your ex when you were still with a bitch. I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about it. Sweetie, sweet. Okay, we got a little something there. Sweetie, sweet. We got a little, you know what I am? Look, by the way, sweetie, sexy as shit. You know what I am, bro? We ain't even gonna talk on that. I always reference her when she did, um, if you guys know the podcast that she did with Young Miami and them thing and the dress that she was wearing and the. Man, you know what I'm saying? We ain't even gonna talk. Yo, ex, when you were still with a bitch, I'm up, little nigga. They say revenge is sweet. Now think about that shit. Don't let that line go over your head. I might just sing about that shit. I had a feeling about that dick. There's something sweet about 
that shit. I got some tears about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. And this is what I'm saying, because people be like, obviously, when it comes to certain, bruv, the only time lyricism matters in a diss track is when there's no beef. For example, when Joyner Lucas and um, Tory Lanez were going at it and they agreed to do, yo, three rounds and that, bruv, let's see who wins type of thing. And that's where bars matter. You see in diss tracks and that, bruv, where there's, for example, Kendrick and Drake, where there's rap beef in there, who's the best competitiveness, but there's also personal issue and that, bruv. In them kind of situations, lyricism to some degree goes out the window and that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because all of these, man, what are they saying, bruv? Yo, I got some dirt on him. I got some dirt on him. Da -da 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 -da. Push a T when he won. How did he won? by having dirt on money wasn't didn't do no miracle smiracle you know i saying crazy it's just all about the dirt that you have on the next man and we know the industry is a cold place and that um, and people get up to some crazy things and that right there ain't really a, a good combination and that when it comes to these distracts and people start doing all of this right here you know i saying and that really i go over your head i might just sing about that shit i had a feeling about that dick there's something sweet about that shit i got some tea about that bitch, but i ain't gonna speak about that shit <laughs> I ain't playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas, I'm a defecator. Okay. I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste, that's devastating. You doing Oh no 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 no, let's not spin that. I don't think it was I don't think there was anything grinding on that still, I can't lie to you. I don't think there was anything brazy. I remember which video he's talking about, but I don't think Quavo was really full of throwing punches back still. And women that be doing that as well, bruv, like, and that's the thing, bro. Sometimes women will put their hands on you and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I know you can't touch you. Or that'll be in the back of the mind. I'm literally hitting this man because he can't do anything to me. Or I know he's not going to hit me, so let me hit him. You, man, that's just messed up thinking and that, bruv, in so many different ways and that, bruv. But from what I can remember, I don't think Quavo really did, like, put his hand on her or anything like that type of thing, bruv. See about that bitch, but I ain't gonna speak about that shit. <laughs> Playing chess with a checker player. I'm a ticking bomb on a detonator. I shit on niggas. I'm a defecator. I put amigo on a ventilator. Stop talking about beating girls. You was beating bitches on the elevator. We seen the taste. That's devastating. You doing bad. You a bitch in your music trash. Fashion week, they set me next to your lame ass. I was truly mad. All I kept thinking about was breaking your face, but I gave you a pass. You lucky I ain't wanna fuck the money up, boy. I would've oh, broke you in yeah. half. Quick. Oh, yeah, yeah, because I remember this situation as well. I remember this situation as well, bro. And I think people were talking about, yo, I did I take a picture together. I don't know if they went that to that far to where they didn't, you get me, to where they took a picture together. But they were definitely in the same vicinity. And I do remember this and that, bro. I can't even lie to you. And that, you know what I'm saying? But everyone knew it. Yeah, it was because these men are in a certain type of place. That's why certain things didn't escalate and that, bro. You get me? But I think from right now, musically, the only good part was that whole, you know what I'm saying, shitting on man, defecator, ventilator, elevator. That was a good nice little flow right there and that but i think musically flow for flow i feel like quavo might have chris brown in that department and that bro you get me because even though i said like the bars kind of not count in certain situations obviously they still count and that bro you know what i mean but i feel like with this tracks there's just a multitude of layers to rank things on and that bro but when it comes to the flow the vibe the swag making a diss track a song i feel like quavo can have that it just depends if you can whip so importantly in there you your music me? trash fashion week they set me next to your lame ass i was truly mad all i kept oh yeah that's what it was they were sitting next to each Thinking other i was breaking your face but i gave you a pass you're lucky i ain't want to fuck the money up boy i would have broke you in half quit trying to be tough you ain't like that why you keep showing up quit talk about drugs you the only pack that I've been smoking on. I just hit my plug, told him come back. I'ma need more than one. Your last album was a weed trade, just some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's on, put you to bed. Night, night, that's I like that though, blood. Your last album was a weed trade. That's something that we roll up on and that, bro. You get me? I like that right there. This album was a weed trade, just some bullshit that we roll up on. You know what's on, put you to bit. bed. Night, night, that's suit of fed. Show me that I'm tender, bitch. Time to prove what you just said. RIP, take off. He the only real one that got true respect. Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, you tripping, Chris? Don't say that. I forgot about that. I forgot I, that this is the whole reason why I even knew Chris Brown even sent shots at Quavo because I was scrolling through Twitter and then I literally saw that bar right there and I was like, what the hell is going on, bro? This issue is really, you get me? And that's literally because of this whole issue that's going on with Kendrick, Drake. Everyone's just coming outside now. Anyone that has a problem, they're just addressing it on wax and that. We love to see it, man. I can't even lie to you. Man, got R&B, man, rapping. Chat to me, man. Even though I feel like Chris Brown's been one of them people that's kind of been in between and that, bro. You get me? But nah, that is crazy, though. I can't even lie to you. That is crazy to say. And the maddest thing is it hurts even more because I feel like Quavo, I don't know if he still holds that, that to this day in terms of like, um, what they call it? Um, survivor's survivor's guilt or whatever bro you know what i mean but i'm sure he definitely kicks himself from time to time and that bro you get me for that whole situation and happening and that bro. because take off is someone that would just stay still stay self and that bro you get me he just does his thing and that bro you get me you know what i mean so hopefully but yeah man
basically the situation is just bare deep on Quavo's side. He probably hasn't gotten over certain things. So saying that right there, bruv, that's probably the most potent bar. F the suede ish and that, bruv, that's probably the most potent bar that really hit. Yeah, when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. Oh, shit. You tripping, Chris, don't say that. Don't lose your head. Yeah. You done turned a big bad wolf on these fuck niggas, never knew revenge. Oh. This what happens when a fuck nigga push a real nigga out to the edge. Yeah. This what happens when a dumb nigga get fame and it get to his head. You gon' kiss this ring, nigga. Big fuck you from my middle finger. Yeah. I tattoo my trigger finger. Bring real beat to your dinner table my mental state ain't never stable i know this shit gonna sting nigga I ran <laughs> yeah we know that bro we know that yo i just always do this man play the video Finger, bring real beat to your dinner table my mental state ain't never stable i know this shit gonna sting nigga i ran your ass through the ringer nigga you just got body by a singing nigga bitch who want smoke with me who want smoke with me who want smoke with me who want smoke with c who want, who want smoke with me who want Yeah, man, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one right there, bro. You get me? And the thing is with diss tracks, bro, I, bro, if I listen to diss tracks, bro. You get me? As long as they're, they're the song worthy, I listen to diss tracks. I think it was J.D. Kingdom's first diss track to Steph London. Still listen to that. Push-ups by Drake. Still listen to that, bro. You know what I mean? Chip as well, blood. His last diss to Bugsy Malone and them today. What was it? Run out, read it. Still listen to that. Like, I spin diss tracks, bro. That's one, definitely, that's one thing that has to be in a diss track for me. Yeah, it has to be potent. It has to be lyrical. All of these things. Smart, witty, bro. Flip Pin a man's bars on its head and that bro, you get me. This arm in dement, you get me on some. Well, what's it? What's it, what's it, what's the art form on them? Today? The martial art form is it Wing Chun and that bro. It's all about just disarming a man and breaking a man down. Like you get me, all of that type of ish. But it definitely has to be replayable for me as well, bro. That's when it's like, yeah, now it's replayable as well. It's not just disrespectful. Like chat to me, man. You get me. But so in terms of replayability, I'm probably not gonna listen to this again and that bro. You get me. But there was a good flow in there and that nice little pocket and that bro. You get me. He did keep a nice little consistent flow and that bro. He didn't see. He didn't seem too out of place and that bro you get me it's not the most crisp most smoothest flow but it didn't sound too out of place because like i said i feel like it's dibbled in rap before type of thing you get me but definitely disrespectful though in terms of the issue that he said in this that was that's probably the most um his biggest mark on this whole thing and that bro is the disrespect bro so shout out to my like chris brown and that for stepping in the ring and them thing that now we're gonna go react to quavo see what he has to say and hopefully you guys enjoyed that one it's your point jazz and i'm gone man in a bit people bro <laughs> Yo, last time I stepped off to get 15 Back to back, went yard to get 16 or 06 to 14 was a big dream on road Me and my G's with big schemes 10-10, real charges, ya know huh? Chill the plan, real party, ya know On huh? block, real vibes with ya know huh? Pressure bro in my baggage, ya know huh? Rolling round, 20 deep, no gang ting Block name, rockstar, real stamping 